Well, this is what Trump and Biden have both said about that issue this week. Our country is under invasion. We should not be talking amnesty. We should be talking about stopping the invasion instead. This is an invasion of our country. We have to seal the border. We have to let people come into our country, but they have to come in legally. We have to send Joe Biden's illegal aliens back home where they belong. The will of the American people is being tested by their fears at the border. They don't understand a lot of it. These are the fears my predecessor is trying to play on when he says immigrants, immigrants, and his words are poison the blood of the country. When he calls immigrants, in his words, animals, when he was president, he separated families and children at the border. And now he's proposing to rip spouses and children from their families and homes and communities and place them in detention camps. Two very different takes, isn't it? Biden there essentially accusing Trump of a dog whistle um, and, you know, trying to undercut that message, Mick, that there is a real problem with immigration. But the numbers tell the story there, isn't it? These two messages will speak to different parts of the country. What do you think about this issue and whether it is going to get Trump over the line in the states where it matters? Yeah, Inflation is still going to be the number one issue. The economy is typically the number one issue in the elections here. There's no question about that. Immigration, if that becomes the second most important issue for voters, the Republicans are going to do extraordinarily well. The Democrats are trying to make, and you might see Joe Biden do this tonight, try to make it about abortion, about reproductive rights and so forth, because that is really the one place where the Democrats think that they have an advantage over the Republicans. But as long as it's the three I's, or even the four, inflation, immigration, Israel at incapacity, specifically Biden's, and the Republicans are going to do very, very well. Be curious to see which message each of the candidates drives home tonight. My guess is you'll see Joe Biden try to drive it back again and again to abortion, and, Joe, and uh, Donald Trump will try and take it to immigration every single chance he gets. Where's abortion a red-hot issue at the moment still, Mick? Uh, a bunch of the swing states. I think Michigan will be a big issue. Pennsylvania will be a big issue. Ohio is mm. a big issue. Wisconsin. It is still a large issue. There's no question. But can it break those top three or four issues? It remains to be seen. Donald Trump is not doing well uh, amongst white suburban women voters. But he's doing extraordinarily well, especially for Republican with African-American and Hispanic voters, which Annalise mentioned the woman she interviewed from Mexico who is coming out for Trump because of his immigration policy. There's mm. this, this, this concept in this country that Hispanic voters are OK with illegal immigration. If, it, if that's where the Democrats are putting their, their, their bets tonight, they're going to lose it in, in November 2024.